channel my name is India reacts and today you guys got some more music to react to today you guys we got pearl jams you guys this one is um even flow you guys before we get into this you guys we're gonna get some fun facts and all that um and see what this is all about the ones i have react to a pearl jam Ooh, it was a dark one you guys not a dark one but it was a deep storytelling you guys and um i can relate you guys because i have been bullied and you know it's not it's not cool you guys and it will it will literally like no jokes aside it will stick with you for the rest of your life and it's just like why would you want to bring somebody down just so you can feel better or just so other people can laugh and that's one thing i don't play about is bullying so so the ones i have react to a pro jam is black live mtv unplugged and then i react to jeremy it was jeremy the one that <sighs> black was cool too though um and then i react to last kiss love re oh me i do pronounce how you pronounce it <laughs> um so those are the um ones i have react to so far and now today you guys we got um even flow by pearl jobs so even flow it's a song by the American rock band Pearl Jams, featured lyrics written by the vocalist Eddie Vender, and the music written by the guitarist Stone Garsord. Sorry, I pronounced it wrong. <laughs> Even Flow was released in 1992 on the second single from the band's um, album 10, 1991. The song peaked at number three on the Billboard Mainstream Rock Tracks charts. The song's included on the Pearl Jams 2000, 2000, 2004 Greatest Hits. Um, Remix version of the songs included 2009. Okay, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's get straight to you guys. Let me know how you guys feel about Pearl Jams. Even flow. Let's go. It's not a TV studio. Josh, Josh turn these lights out. It's a fucking rock concert. Ready? You heard it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting over the sickness, you guys. So sorry if I'm like kind of sweaty or my throat is like going crazy. So you guys, I'm already loving their energy vibe. The whole band, their energy vibe is already off the chain. Um, I'm loving that they had, they have all like different type of swags too. I can see that. Um, so rest his head on a pillow made of concrete again. Feeling maybe he'll see a little better set of days. Oh yeah. I feel like that's homeless. Like you're homeless. You're sleeping on concrete. That's homeless. Unless it's like a metaphor for something else. The face he sees time again ain't that familiar. Oh yeah. He can't sleep when he's happy. He looks insane. Huh? Damn. There's somebody that's stressing. Ooh. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, so this is like really going into detail about homeless. Looking through the paper, although he doesn't know how to read it, um, obviously not all people living on the streets um, are illiterate. But most of them, they're, they're not just looking to read it. They want to know where, what it means. What, it, what does it mean? What does the pictures mean? What does the words mean? I'm sure they do want to read it, although they can't. But at the same time, that paper can go a long way. It can make a blanket. It can make where you can, you know, I don't know, you know stuff that you can do when you're homeless. You know what I mean? Um, you have to think of the bigger picture. You have to think of ways that you wouldn't think of when you're not homeless, if you guys know what I'm saying. Serving as a blanket and, 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 and an umbrella. It could be Yes, it can be like an umbrella too. So now, oh, praying now to some that has never showed him anything. So basically God, or he feels like God or Jesus, or nobody has ever came, came through for him. It's not working out. Even if I'm praying, why isn't my errors getting prayed? Why am I still homeless? Why am I still feeling like this? Why am I still like this? Why is my life still like this? Why won't nobody help me? When it's winter and it's raining, it's cold out. <laughs> it's cold out you have to go live under the bridge you have to find blankets you have to find shelter and it just really makes you sad it really makes you sad just thinking about it you guys but this is really going into detail and I'm loving the metaphor that it's putting in to this you guys sorry for stopping Yes, the energy and the confidence they had on there. Yeah, that's how the crowd should act with that, <laughs> with that performance. All the um, <clears throat> out of all the rock bands I have listened to so far, you guys, I think I would have to give it up to Pro Jams when it comes to um, storytelling. He, they always have like a nice storytelling that connects. Like it can connect on a personal level too. And just because you're homeless, sometimes it doesn't always have to mean it's your fault. Some people can have mental breakdowns to where nobody wants to deal with them no more. Or, you know, it's just life got to them and what can you do? You know what I mean? So it's not always your fault. Or some people can be like army people, you know what I mean? Everybody is not crazy just because they're homeless, you guys. And um, But the only people that would think like that is for the ju judge, people that judge people. And um, But this really went into detail, you guys.
basically about the homeless how, how hard it can be how sometimes it's not always the homeless fault how you can be judged by society off your looks and how you live and um you move around like don't let people judge you but it makes you work harder it does because i would never want to be in this situation you know what i mean i'm sure that people don't want to be in that situation either and one day if i can help and you know believe me i will so make sure you guys run it up i can't help unless you guys run it up make sure you smash the like button you guys hit that round if you guys are new and welcome definitely will keep pearl jam on this channel personally because their storytelling is just out the roof let me know how you guys feel down in the comments let's go you guys you